Okay, this is a reading for Sagittarius. Whoever is watching Spirit, what are the messages you have for them today? What are the messages you have for them today, Spirit? Sweat Lodge. Okay, so some of you guys could be needing to like clear your energy, do some prayer work. Trying to find it in the book. I'll see what it does it say. It says, cleanse yourself, body, mind, and soul. Purify, clutter, clear. Let go of objects and relationships that no longer serve you. Purify your body. Go within, meditate, talk to the creator, give thanks. Your native spirit wants you to know sweat lodges are small dome structures covered with skins, blankets, and mud in which very hot stones are placed in the center. Water is poured over the stone, so hot steam arises from the rock. This, the sweat lodge, when it's hot steam, is used for purification cer ceremonies, as well as the place to commune with the divine. This card shows you to tell you that it's time to clear out the clutter in your life. Sometimes clutter can be things in your closet that don't you don't love, or use, but sometimes clutter can be outmoded relationships or habits that no longer serve you. The clearer your inner and outer space becomes, the easier it will to hear sweet messages from your soul. Sometimes this card chooses you when it's time to do some physical detoxification. Fast for a day, drink green juices, clear out some clutter, love it, use it, or get rid of it. Even one small item can make a difference. Okay. So, this makes sense after last night's, you know, eclipse energy with the fly and the nightmare. <laughs> um, but, yeah, they're wanting you to detoxify, so maybe it is time to fast for a day. Um, you know, even the Bible, whether you guys want to believe it or not, that's fine, talks about some, you know, like Jesus, he talked about some unclean spirits. He said, those don't come out unless you fast. So... There could be something about needing to fast, pray, um, or just do what it says, clean out some clutter. Because sometimes we do, like, especially females, we're really bad about, like, hoarding clothes and shoes and purses and shit, maybe. I don't know. Not Maybe not everybody's not the same, but there's probably things that we all need to get rid of um, so that it can invite in the new. There's a lot of energy of out with the old, in with the new. Okay, but this does also talk about needing to cleanse. So make sure you're saging, you know, doing your prayer work and stuff like that. So I feel like there was a negative energy that needed to be detoxified from y'all after that reading last night. Um, and it was, it's gone. Okay, so that energy is leaving I also, um, you know, I was reading an ISIS oracle and it was talking about an initiation and it was talking about being tested to see if you're ready to be initiated. So some of you guys could be going through a test and if that happens, I want you to stay in, in a loving, non-judgmental type energy and just release this person or this situation or whatever you're about to be tested with. Because some of you are about to, you know, the divine's trying to see if you're ready to be initiated. So they're going to throw it, throw tests at you to test you, okay? <clears throat> mm, look at that, the star. Yeah, healing is here. Um, that's another card I pulled out was um, an Isis. It talked about healing, a healing chamber. So you guys, there's a lot of healing coming to you so that you can release the old, Okay. Oh, Lord, see, yeah, this is exactly what's going on. Somebody, okay, this is going to be the test. Somebody is coming towards you, Sagittarius, to offer you something, and they're going to see if you fall for this shit. This is somebody who's very manipulative, and they have the devil with them, but they're going to make you an offer. So this is almost like spirit could be testing you to test your faith, test your uh, resolve, like to see if you'll stick with your faith. Okay, to see if you'll do the right thing in a certain situation. There's a temptation. 
And the reason that this person's being sent is because you are the star. You're meant for, you're destined for greatness. But in order for you to get to your destiny, you're going to have to pass this test. Because somebody is fixing to come in and see if you fall for this shit. They're just a page. This isn't even a king or a queen. So this shouldn't be too hard to see. <laughs> um, but you notice they have the goat and she's tied to this damn goat or has it tied up behind her. And then the devil also is the goat. So there is a tempting here. This person's going to see if they can offer you something, but there's man manipulation. And I do feel like whoever this person is, they could have already sent negative spell work to you or negative. They just have a lot of negative energy around them. But you can see you're about to be tempted. So that, you know, <laughs> the devil comes in various forms. Um, but it, you may even think that it's nothing serious, but it is. It's just, oh, it's just a little offer. No, this is Diablo in the flesh here. <laughs> so you're getting offered something. And they're going to see if you take it. Yeah. Oh, they, oh. Now these came out reversed. Look at this shit. So it's a narcissistic energy. And they're hoping that you do not have the strength to resist this. <laughs> yeah, they're hoping you don't have the strength to resist this. This is the only card in tarot that can outdo the devil. And it came out reversed with the king of swords. So there's like a narcissistic um, energy com like tied to this. And they're going to see if you can... It could be an Aquarius, Leo, Capricorn, um, but somebody's going to try to see if you you can resist th this temptation. Yeah, there's going to be an end to a relationship or a friendship. This could be somebody else you know. Because it's like the Page of Wands reverse, Two of Cups reverse, and then the Death. So it's like somebody could be coming in, trying to bond with you, offer you something, making you think it's good news, but it's really not. With the Queen of Swords down here. Yeah, this per this whoever this is, they're painting you some type of an illusion. And they know that you're the empress. They're hoping that you don't know that, though. Whoever this is, they're hoping that you don't know your worth. And they're hoping that you don't listen to your intuition. Yeah, this person's going to come in and offer you love. They're going to kind of come in and romance you, but they don't have any intentions on giving you this happy outcome. Yeah, this person likes to play mind games. They're, they're petty. They like to play mind games. Uh, they're jealous. They could be jealous of the work you do or the people you have around you. Ten of Pentacles reverse, Ten of Cups reverse. This could also have something to do with like a family situation. Could be like a third party. This person could already be in another commitment, but they're trying to come to you to offer you something. This person's burden. They could be having to move or something. They could be having family issues. Now this person's going to come in and try to see if they can offer you love. And it's going to put you in your head. You need to be in this queen of swords. Yeah, because look. <laughs> you have a lot of good coming towards you with the um, 
Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Cups. You have good karma. But this is a temptation from somebody that could be involved with somebody else or they could be leading somebody else. And their plan is to come straight to you to offer you a commitment and love. And you don't realize that there's a devil. There's like a devil attached to this person. Yeah, it's the King of Pentacles reverse. So this is somebody who's actually, you know, could be doing bad financially. But they're coming because they want to choose you. They don't want you to move on. So this is somebody who has their own agenda. Like, they could be seeing that you're moving on with new love. Uh, getting financially blessed. They've been watching you. Um, so they could be wanting to leave the situation to come be with you. But this is somebody who's doing all this out of like jealousy. Yeah, because this person's emotionally not stable right now. It could be a Virgo. Whoever this person is, they need to heal. Yeah, they're going to come in and offer you something, but it's like insincere. They're going to do all this in divine timing. They could also, like, have lost a job or something, not be stable right now. Yeah, this person wants to come in and do this because it, they want to compete for you. It's jealousy. Yeah. They're not happy, and they see that they could see that you're happy. They want to come in and get you to give to them going to be a lot of communication from this person this person is like waiting for the right time to do this because they have a fear also that you're moving on without them yeah they're worried about what you're doing this person could be drinking or something yeah i feel like you already see this person for who they are it's like you know that they're on some bullshit you are looking back at their past. So they could have like a past to them already that you're aware, aware of. You're reflecting on this. Yeah. And you're like, mm, I kind of think if I get involved in this, I'm going to be fucking heartbroken. Or either that or they're strategically trying to leave somebody that loves them to come be with you and leave this person heartbroken. Yeah. Look at that. The King and Queen of Cups reversed. So there's like a breakup with somebody and they want to come towards you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's going to be like um, some type of break in, a, in like a, a marriage or a committed relationship. Somebody's about to go through a tower. They're going to come through and tell you this, but it's to try to get you to commit to them. And you need to be guarded. Yeah, this person's going to try to come in and offer you a brand new passionate beginning because they're having financial issues or something like that. Yeah, they feel like you're moving on and being successful, so they want to keep you tied to them. They've been watching you. This person's about to come in and try to take control of this situation. Or they could be watching you move on with this emperor. There's somebody who's watching you move on with this emperor. And I feel like they want to stop it. Yeah, there's somebody from this person's past. A queen of pentacles reversed. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That they're leaving. That they're not taking a leap of faith with. They could have been indecisive in the past, but now they're getting, like, clarity on where to go, which way to go. Yeah, this person's becoming single because they want to hold on to you. Somebody wants to hold on to you. Yeah, they do not want you to get away. Somebody does not want you to get away. This person could be worried about somebody that's around you. 
Or there could be another situation that has nothing to do with this person that's ending. I feel like they want who, like you could be talking to this King of Wands. Like this King of Wands could be seeing something from a higher perspective or maybe the person that's coming in. But it's like there could be like an ending or something. Um, but it's like there's somebody stressed out here about you ending something with them and then going and being with somebody else. So somebody's like coming in to tempt you and I feel like they're going to really put the temptation on. To try to get, but you don't realize, like, you got to be aware that this person has this devil energy attached to them. It's like a temptation. So don't be, you know, that now is not the time to be involved with third parties. Not the time to be involved with anybody who is leaving a situation to come be with you. Because for one, they're not fucking healed. Okay? If somebody just got out of a relationship to come to you with their bullshit, Sagittarius, or whatever, they're not fucking healed. You don't need that. So, there's a temptation, um, and you need to resist it. It could also, I'm hearing, be like a twin flame. Like, you could be seeing like 11-11. So, it could be like a twin flame relationship or something. You may be very tempted to get involved in this, and spirit's like, no. And I feel like the most high and the, you know, <laughs> the spiritual realm who's trying to initiate you into your spiritual gifts and your spiritual awareness are testing you to see if you'll listen to your intuition and do what's right because at the end of the day if the divine can't trust you to even listen to your own damn intuition what good are your gifts <laughs> so like you're this high priestess or a high priest through the divine and you have to learn discernment you have to know what is and isn't for you the way you kind of know is like love. Like you know when somebody really loves you. Okay, so what other messages? Yeah, you are going to be tested by the devil. You have to overcome this. Do not indulge in anything that is is not good. Overcome the devil. Somebody's going to tempt you. Somebody is about to tempt you. And and they're going to see if you can pass this. Yeah, you're the empress, whether you're male or female. Um, so what other messages do you have for Sagittarius or whoever's watching? Mm -hmm. Told you, you're the high priestess, whether you're male or female. You're being initiated. They're testing you. They're testing you. Yeah, there you are. You are being tested. You need to listen to your intuition. Your intuition is very heightened right now for a reason. Oh my goodness. This is some serious shit. They're repeating it. There is a devil energy around you that you have got to listen to your, and oh, it could have to do with a new damn love. Somebody is coming in to offer you new love, but this is toxic as hell. You're going to have to listen to your intuition. Wow. It could be a Virgo. You see how this damn Virgo energy is shining a light on what you got going on over here? They're watching you and they're shining a light right on your finances and right on your love life. So somebody's been eyeing you, watching you, and you need to listen to your intuition. So it may not be the new lover who's doing this. It's somebody who's watching you about to get new love. Yeah, they see that you have a lot of options. And you're about to get divine justice. When the justice comes out with the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups, that means you are owed divine love and divine finances. Somebody knows this. 
They've been watching you. That Libra, Capricorn, Virgo. Yeah, and you're going to get clarity on this. You are getting clarity that somebody is watching you. Somebody is stalking you. Somebody is seeing what you got going on. This person's about to come in and communicate to you. The Spirit is giving you a breakthrough. And any illusion... So this is literally like seeing in the dark. You guys are the fucking seers. You see the shit. Look at this. You're blinded. This person thinks you're blinded. This is something you're going to have to see with your spiritual eyes. Because there is a great illusion about to come to you. And when you pass this test, Spirit and God are going to be very happy with you. They're going to be like, you know what? Sagittarius did amazing. They've seen this bullshit from a mile away. Somebody thinks they are painting an illusion for you. And you already know what time it is. There's also somebody who could have you in a spirit of fear. That if you lose them or something like that, do not, don't be in fear. Yeah. You're going to pass this test because look, you move on and you get wish fulfillment. But somebody is seeing, okay. Somebody also has a fear, a great fear of you moving on and getting wish fulfillment without them. So that makes sense why this person's trying to come in and latch on to you because they have a fear you're going to leave them for good. Yeah, they have a fear that you're going to end things with them. And then go get what you actually deserve. This is somebody who wants to come in and offer you some type of a commitment to have like a family because they're afraid if they don't, they're going to lose you for good. Yeah, they're going to use passion. So this person is going to come in. All four aces just came out. So there's a lot of new brewing around you. A lot of new. But you got some sneaky SOV around you. Trying to work with you. Watching you. Stalking you. Yeah, there's also another person here who's in regret and in despair for how they treated you. I don't feel like this King of Wands is the um, culprit. I mean, it could be. They could have a fear that you're going to end up leaving them and then they're going to regret it. Yeah, they're juggling you or jugg they could regret juggling you. They're also, they, this person's trying to decide if they should, you know, come in and give you this Ten of Pentacles, but they they regret not committing to you, whoever this King of Wands is. Whoever the King of Wands is, they're going to start seeing something from a higher perspective. I feel like this person, whoever the King of Wands is, they're going to come in and take charge of this situation and become this emperor and fight for you. Yeah, they've been reflecting on the past. This person's worried about a third party or something coming toward you. Yeah, the, okay, so whoever the King of Wands is, they're worried about this emperor that you've known from your past. So, I don't know, they, whoever the emperor was, they were with the Queen of Pentacles. And the King of Wands could be worried about you being with a third party because this person's, somebody's leaving who they're with to try to come your way. Yeah, so it's like, 
whoever the king of wands is they're aware that there's somebody who's trying to leave another situation to come give you some type of good news but honestly i don't think you want to hear from the person who's with someone else i don't think you give a shit about any of that yeah they're jealous there's a lot of jealousy around you right now sagittarius and you are being watched okay yeah and you're distancing, I feel like you are distancing yourself from these people or these situations because you can feel this jealous energy. You know something's not right. Yeah. And somebody's pissed at you for being free. You're like in this Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Wands energy of just being free. You're like, bitch, I'm free. I'm a free spirit. Leave me the fuck alone. And somebody's pissed at you for this. Like, somebody's upset that you're distancing yourself. Yeah, you're choosing to heal yourself and somebody's pissed. So if you've been pulling your energy back from somebody, they're getting upset at you. Yeah, so they're about to return like a bat out of hell here too. They're indecisive on you. I feel like you're leaving people who are indecisive. People who aren't you know committing people who aren't treating you right you're you're distancing yourself you're being told to distance yourself and to heal um because there's people around you who don't know what the hell they're doing but you know what you're doing and you know what you're meant to be doing yeah because you're the fucking empress you're like bitch bye you're making a choice to move on anybody who is not coming in to um treat you right you're gonna move on from them you don't give a shit if it's your emperor or not. You're like, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Do not give a shit. Good day. Goodbye. Whether you're male or female, you're making the choice to choose you. Yeah, and to hold back. You're choosing to hold back, and this is burdening people. The fact that you're choosing to love yourself, nurture yourself, and go into a high vibration, it's causing these devil entity energies to that are sucking the life out of you. They could have been using passion to do it, by the way. So be careful of that or some shit like that. You're being told to hold back your resources, your time, and your energy because you need to heal. So Spirit's trying to put you like in a healing chamber. And that's going to cause a lot of, of uh, turmoil for other people. Because you're the Empress. So a lot of people could depend on you. Whether it's emotionally, financially, you know, shit like that. So you could be seeing 444. Four, four. Yeah, look, another damn four. <laughs> um, you're seeing that because it's Spirit's way of telling you pull back and heal. Hermit yourself. Somebody's also burdened because they know you're the Empress, whether you're male or female, and they know that you deserve commitment in marriage, and they don't want to commit. But they don't want to let go of you. Yeah, they don't want to commit. King of Pentacles reverse. Somebody does not want to commit to you, but yet they want to keep you attached to them. Yeah, and they're fucking liars. Whoever this King of Pentacles is, they're not good for you. Yeah, they could want to like reconcile with you. Yeah, they're waiting for divine timing to come in. Yeah, look, you got somebody else coming in the future. You have this King of Cups who's going to come in that is actually brought to you by the Divine. So <laughs> the, uh, the test is they're going to test you to see if you can tell the difference between real love and somebody who doesn't love you. Because you have a Divine counterpart coming in here in the future. Like this is the future card. So in the future, you are going to meet this king of cups who wants to commit to you marry you yeah look you could be worried about this mm, it's not you it's the narcissist so the narcissist could be like um a king of pentacles king of swords energy so earth air i don't know but this person is worried because they can see your future. Whoever this is, they're just as smart as you. This could be like a 
a twin flame that in this life they're choosing not to commit to you. Like they're supposed to be your emperor. They're supposed to stand up and protect you and take care of you and look after you. But they're not doing it. They're on some fuck shit. They're being non-committal. So now this person's worried. How can I get Sagittarius to, to stay with me but still not give them what they deserve? And so this narcissist or whoever the fuck this is, they're, they're freaking out. They're worried because they know it's just a matter of fucking time before this King of Cups comes in and steals your ass away from them. Somebody is coming in to marry you. You could even end up having a child with this person. And whoever the fuck this is, they are scared to death. So they're going to try to do anything they can to keep you attached to them. Yeah, you're, you're, whoever that is, this person is realizing, the person from your past, they're realizing that you're about to end things with them and just move on. Yeah, and quit giving to this. So you're about to be tested because this person is going to try to keep you around them. I also get that this person loves to keep you fucking heartbroken. Especially if you're de dealing with somebody who they won't commit to you, but yet they won't let go of you. They want to be around so they can benefit, but they don't want to invest. Something like that. This person loves to make you be in your head and keep you heartbroken and, and, and tell you that they don't want to work with you. So this is somebody who's like, no, I don't want to work with you. I don't want to build with you. But yet they don't want to let go of you. And it keeps you in this heartbroken energy. And it keeps you mind fucked. It could be affecting your mental health and, and all kinds of shit. So they're telling you to go like, um, you know, pull your energy back and heal. Yeah, somebody doesn't want to take a leap of faith or work with you, but yet they want to stay tied to you. Yeah. And they're trying to prevent, what this person's doing is they're trying to prevent an ending with the Wheel of Fortune reverse. They're trying to keep you stuck in this karmic cycle so you don't end it with them. Yeah, it's just a matter of time before you do. There's also somebody, like I said, there's somebody who's leaving somebody else and they're going to try to come to you and they're going to offer you something. But I feel like it's going to get blocked because somebody is leaving somebody and they're not getting good news. They're being left out. This Queen of Swords reversed. So it's like somebody's ending something to try to come tempt you. Um, because they want to, they want to hold on to you because they feel like you're walking away, working on yourself. So they want to come in and manifest you, offer you something, but they're being manipulative and it's because they see you as a star. Okay. And they're also trying to block you from actually connecting with a true soulmate. They want to come in and block you from getting, um, you know, look, they're blocking from all sides. <laughs> So they're like trying to block the soulmate and they're also trying to block the success. So be careful who comes in here soon because you're going to be tempted like no other. This is somebody you, this could be a fucking twin flame. This could be somebody you've wanted. This, I mean, it could look, the flame went out. So it's like, this could be somebody you really wanted. And so it's going to be very tempting. But if you, it's like, so spirits trying to see if you'll fall for this shit. And you're going to have to overcome it. So that's what I have for you. I could keep going, but I'll be here all damn day. So I'll be back soon. We've got Virgo, Scorpio, Leo, Sag, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Capricorn, Libra, Sag. See, look, this devil's right on your ass. You got the high priestess and you got the devil and you, this person's on your ass, okay? And you got good karma coming. Remember, you got new love and new finances coming. So this, this energy is trying to get you before you move on. They know you're moving on. They can feel it, okay? And look, the devil is behind you. The devil is chasing you, Sagittarius, or whoever you are. You're being watched. And you're going to have to put it into this. And karmic justice is here. 
I feel like it's a heavy earth or air sign who's doing this. They're jealous. Because look, we have Virgo, the devil, Capricorn, and Sag. And then we have Libra, Libra. So it could be, I feel like it really could be an earth or air. I mean, it could be any sign, but those are just the ones I'm feeling. Um, and here's an angel number. So one, two, five, one, two, five, seven, one, one. Those could also be birth dates. Okay. So Google angel number one, two, five, and then seven, one, one. So have a good one. Love you guys.